Hey everybody, this is Metal Rose and this is Metal Rose's Heavy Metal History Corner. Here are a couple of cool things that happened this week in heavy metal history. On October 5th, 1999, The Best of Van Halen, Volume 1 was released. They tried to give David Lee Roth and Sammy Hager errors equal space on the album, but Diamond Dave ended up winning. <laughs> on October 5th, 2003, Ted Nugent became the star of his own reality TV show, Surviving Nugent, which aired on VH1. On October 6, 2003, one-time Van Halen frontman David Lee Roth drops his lawsuit against the band. Roth was seeking over $200,000 in unpaid royalties. On October 6, 2004, Howard Stern, I know fucking Howard Stern isn't heavy metal, but fuck everybody because I love Howard Stern anyway, Howard Stern announced that he will abandon terrestrial airwaves in 2006 when he will begin a five-year deal with Sirius Satellite Radio. And I recommend that everybody get Sirius Satellite Radio and always listen to Howard Stern nonstop, 24-7, all the time. Woo! On October 7th, 1980, a court rules that the death of John Bonham, Led Zeppelin's drummer, was accidental. God damn it, why the hell do these awesome people have to die? In more Led Zeppelin news, on October 7th, 1982, Jimmy Page was found guilty of cocaine possession. He was given a 12-month conditional discharge. On October 7th, 1989, Jefferson Airplane performed a benefit for the San Francisco Food Bank. All you had to do to get in was donate a can of food. On October 7th, 1999, Korn and the Backstreet Boys <laughs> were multiple winners at the Artist Direct Online Music Awards at the House of Blues in West Hollywood. On October 7th, 2000, Howard Stern, the guy I love so much, <laughs> was named the Nationally Syndicated Personality of the Year at the 2000 Chart Topper slash Airplay Monitor Radio Awards presented in New York City at the close of the publication's annual three-day seminar. Baba Booey! <laughs> and for those of you who didn't get that, I just totally Baba Booey bombed my radio cast <laughs> yeah i don't really think it counts when you bomb yourself though <laughs> on october 7th 2004 poison cc deville was named worst guitarist soloist of all time by guitar world magazine all right <laughs> Woo! the worst guitarist ever on October 7th, 2009, KISS founding member, drummer, Peter Chris announced that on his official website, he was actually diagnosed with breast cancer within the last year. Yep, he really actually did get breast cancer, but I believe he's better now, so that's great. I want to wish a very happy birthday to Johnny Ramone, who was born on October 8th, 1951. And uh, rest in peace, Johnny. On October 8th, 1988, Dark Side of the Moon finally dropped off the Billboard 200 charts after 741 weeks. Wow. <laughs> On October 8th, 1996, former drummer for the Smashing Pumpkins, Jimmy Chamberlain, pled guilty to disorderly conduct in connection with the heroin-related deaths of late former touring bandmate Jonathan Melvoin. Oh, here's one. I really fucking want to report on this, so let's do it. On October 8th, 2010, Ozzy Osbourne was furious that his song was used to spread hatred. Ozzy Osbourne had blasted religious leaders in Kansas for using the lyrics to his song Crazy Train to promote messages of hatred and evil. The rocker was appalled when he learned that members of the Westboro Baptist Church had paraphrased lyrics from the song at a post-Supreme Court hearing press conference in Washington, D.C. after telling reporters the U.S. deaths in Afghanistan and Iraq are punishment for Americans' tolerance of homosexuality and abortion. He said, I am sickened and disgusted by the use of Crazy Train to promote messages of hate and evil by a church. You know, isn't it funny how Black Sabbath and Ozzy Osbourne used to be the evil ones? Now, these sick fucks, the Westboro Baptist Church, they're really the evil ones. You know, Sabbath and Ozzy, they were never like those people. I, I'm, I'm so glad that Ozzy Osbourne has blasted them. <laughs> 
On October 8th, 2010, ACDC was named the top act ever in a new MySpace poll. I thought MySpace was like dead by then though. So like what did two people vote? (laughs) All right. I know this isn't heavy metal, but I'm going to do it. I want to wish a very happy birthday to my favorite guy who ever walked the face of this earth, John Lennon, who was born on October 9th, 1940. And then I want to wish a happy birthday to his son, Sean, who was born on October 9th, 1975. Also, on October 10th, 1939, the real Eleanor Rigby died in her sleep of unknown causes at age 44. The Beatles wrote a song in 1966 about her. On October 10th, 1970, Black Sabbath were number one on the UK charts with their second album, Paranoid. The album is now regarded as one of the classic heavy metal albums of all time. All right, back to John Bonham. On October 10th, 1980, John Bonham was laid to rest. Bonzo was found dead at guitarist Jimmy Page's house. They said he died of asphyxiation after inhaling his own vomit after excessive vodka consumptions. 40 shots in four hours. He was dead by 32 years of age. Um, It's a real tragedy. You know, it always makes me upset to report on this type of stuff, even though it happened in the past. But I kind of think that something a little more sinister played a role here. I think that he passed away because hell they were in fucking Alistair Crowley's house I mean has anybody ever listened to the song Mr. Crowley by Ozzy or does anybody know anything about Alistair Crowley look it up because I don't have time to get into it right now on October 10th 1992 Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash aka Saul Hudson married Renee Saran in Marina Del Rey California On October 11th, 1990, drummer Dave Grohl played his first gig with Nirvana when they appeared at the North Shore Surf Club in Olympia. On October 11th, Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee was released on $5,000 bail after facing charges related to a riot at a gig in North Carolina in 1997. Lee allegedly incited the crowd to attack a guard and he had also poured a drink over his head. Well, that's all I have for you guys this week. Please visit my website at www.heavymetalrose.com and please visit my band's website at www.orbinot.com. See you all later. Bye-bye.